Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I send you all much love and light. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. I love you so much. So let's tap in and see what's going on this week in your love life. What is the vibe like? What is the energy like? Experience is coming your way. Feel free to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign. I do hope that you guys enjoy these readings. Don't forget to show me some love. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. The snowstorm that we got this week, doesn't it look so pretty, you guys? I couldn't help but take a video of it. So I just wanted to show you how cute it looks, how pretty it looks. But anyways, let's get into your readings. I love you guys so much. Okay, before I begin, just want to take a moment white light of the Holy Spirit. All right, Aquarius, what's going on in your love life this week? Let's see what Spirit shows us. Aries and Pisces energy is coming through in your reading. Are you thinking of an Aries or a Pisces? I'll mention it because it's here. Pisces energy is really strong. Could be cross watchers or your own moon or rising sign, Aquarius. You could really see an important person in your life out of whack. If this is your husband, even someone that you respect as a husband, I say that because the emperor's energy is there. It's the man in your life and the one that you care very deeply about. So I can see the man in your life this week out of whack, like out of sorts. Definitely dealing with things from the past that looks like it's hurting him all over again. So it looks like your person just has a lot that they're processing and a lot that they're trying to like leave in the past and get over. So recently, some things could have come up for your person, Aquarius. I don't know if they shared it with you, but it's definitely opened old wounds. So an old wound is open and it feels like this week, it's kind of throwing your person off. Their personality is a little bit different this week. Normally where they're very extroverted, for some of you here, like very chill down to earth. It feels like you could see this person in a grumpy mood at times, an irritable mood at times, responding in a way that is like short. And that feels like it's just out of their normal characteristics. And it's because an old wound is open. So I feel like your reading is telling you so much about your person, telling you about what they're going through so you're so you're aware they may not want to open up there could be things that you ask and they tell you no and they kind of double down so i feel like it's super important to not push if they tell you they need space it's probably best that you just give it to them because they look like they have a side to them that can become very stubborn the worst thing that could happen, Aquarius, is you not knowing that your person has an old wound that's open and you taking it personally and feeling like or questioning that it's something that you've done. I'm telling you now that that couldn't be further from the truth. And I'm telling you that because for some of you, like I said, your person may not be good at communicating. But moreover, I feel like they don't want to draw a lot of attention to themselves. From what I can see, it's just something that your person has to work through. It has to work its way out of their system, out of their energy. It could be things, Aquarius, that they've been sweeping under the rug or suppressing for a while, and it feels like this week it just hits them and it affects them. All right, my beautiful Aquarius, that's what spirit wants you to know. I love you guys so much. That's Okay, Pisces, let's get into your reading this week. Your love life, what's going on? Taurus's energy has come through, you guys. Are you guys cross watchers watching Pisces reading? Or are you thinking of a Taurus? It could be your own moon or rising sign, Pisces. 
So there is an issue that keeps coming to the surface, whether it's a topic between you and your current person right now, Pisces, or if you're single, it's something from the past that keeps resurfacing for you. The Six of Cups coming in reverse. I know deep down it's something that you want to find closure on, something that you don't want to keep repeating, something that you feel is a hindrance in your love life, there's a very significant and important turnaround this week. So this week, you may feel like those feelings are at its peak, like something from the past is really bothering you, interfering in the connection, or just interfering in your love life. After this week, you truly find closure and there's a fresh beginning, a new start for you. There's a lot that you put into perspective for yourself this week. And those old wounds that I can see are open now, they get closed. You find closure. You learn to trust again. So this is spirit showing us you and your person truly resolving a matter that has been unresolved for quite some time. You'll find a way to compromise with each other, although I know one of you in this connection already feels like you're doing all the compromising. If you feel that way, your hard work is going to pay off this week, and I feel like things really steady between the two of you. And finally, you put to rest what that is that keeps coming between the two of you. If you're single and you're dating or you're single and you're just keeping to yourself, I feel like what Spirit wants you to know is the many feelings that could come up to the surface for you this week because there is something that you keep suppressing that you don't want to deal with. And it feels like this week those feelings come back stronger than ever. And you know what it feels like you do is that you just let yourself go through it. You just let it come up. You just deal with it. I feel like this week is pivotal. It's a turnaround for you because you're going to put so many things into perspective. And what Spirit wants you to know is after this week, the energy completely switches up and clears and it's like a fresh start, a new beginning in your love life. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Some of you need to know that you have an amazing person that's getting ready to walk into your life. It feels like this is the week where you process things. So this person's energy is about to enter into your life. And I have to say that they look like a lifelong partner because this is a person that has all the qualifications that you're looking for. So what Spirit wants you to know is that there's a very serious connection on the horizon for you. Letting yourself feel this week and the inner work that you do is very important. It just feels like this week you finally get over that last hurdle, that final blockage that you feel is interfering in your love life. So what Spirit wants you to know is the difficulties that you've had will soon be behind you permanently. You do have love on the horizon. You do have a new connection that's coming in. For those of you in a long-term connection, or committed to your person, you have a new beginning and fresh energy on the horizon. Just be prepared to deal with a lot of things that could make you uncomfortable emotionally this week. The sooner you let yourself feel it and deal with it and face it and confront it even, the sooner you get this fresh start and this new beginning and even this new person coming into your life that you will come into alignment with. Okay, Pisces, that's what I can see going on. It's a pivotal week for you guys. I love you so much. Hey, Aries, let's tap into the energy this week in your love life. What's going on for you guys this week? Pisces energy and Leo's energy is here. Are you guys thinking of a Pisces or a Leo? Are you on the cusp? It could be your own moon or rising sign. 
or cross watchers here, Aries, I'll mention that. For some of you, you could be waiting for a person to come toward you, waiting for them to reach out because your pride tells you that that's what they should do. Waiting for this person to let go and come to you the way that you know they should. Let go of things that you know they shouldn't be holding on to anymore. So if you're already in the position of resonating with what I'm saying and you feel like there's someone that you've been wanting to approach you, that you've been waiting patiently for, this person is going to have a huge turnaround in their mindset, a change of heart. And I can see where so much courage and inner strength comes to this person this week. So there is a turnaround and a path that will open for someone that you've been waiting to approach you to return to you. For others of you, it's this energy of you waiting for love to come into your life. And, and this blockage that I can see is just the things that you've been dealing with personally or your mindset when it comes to you receiving love, feeling like there's been blockages around you. What you need to know is the energy shifts so drastically for you this week in a beautiful way. Because I see you receiving, I see someone making a connection with you, asking to remain in contact with you, someone that will initiate contact with you and get the ball rolling with you and a path opens up. So I see you being pursued. There will be some things that I see you dealing with, you know, some emotions that could come up to the surface or just things that you feel just leave a bad taste in your mouth things that you've dealt with before that you don't want to deal with anymore especially if you have skepticism and doubts in your love life and feel like there's blockages around you you have a pessimistic outlook at times the energy really shifts for you and i just see you believing again what you've been waiting for the longest time to receive, that comes to you. I see you truly get your mind into a much better place this week. And when you get your mind into a better place, you start feeling strong again. Then you feel like you release and you let go. And you know what? That tunes you into a frequency of receiving because you have someone that will reach out to you, approach you, pursue you, and then a path opens up. If you have a special someone on your mind and you know that that person is holding on to things that you wish they could let go of or just has circumstances in their life that prevents them from coming forward. You could even be taken by surprise when they reach out. So for some of you, it's an unexpected, yeah, I feel like it's an unexpected communication. An unexpected person comes towards you or it's unexpected communication, but you've been patiently waiting for this person to reach out to you. So your reading is all about someone coming towards you, Aries. Okay, Aries, that's what I can see going on this week, you guys. I love you so much. Hey, Taurus, let's tap into the energy coming in this week. What's going on in your love life? Okay, so I see this couple coming through, King and Queen of Pentacles. Scorpio's energy is here, you guys. Virgo's energy. Are you thinking of one of those signs? Are you guys cross-watching or your own moon or rising sign? I'll mention that because it's coming through. For those of you in a relationship, because that's the vibe that I'm picking up on with this couple that's coming through so strongly, I'm definitely predicting difficulties in communication. It's more like miscommunicating. One of you in this connection is getting more and more irritated. You know why though? Because you're expecting things from your person without saying it. 
So it's like these unspoken expectations that the other one is not meeting. And that's causing a lot of irritation to the person who feels like it's things that they should know or automatically know or do. So rather than say what it is that I want and say what it is that I need, I'm just watching the other one's actions and they're not taking the appropriate action towards me and that's really getting me irritated, right? So that causes a blockage between the two of you because the other one doesn't really know what you want and they're, they can't read your mind. And I don't say that to sound sarcastic in any way, but it's a, but that's really the problem. Thinking that they should know and the other one has no idea. So it is time for someone to speak up if they want anything to change. If they're just watching to see the actions that the other one takes, they're just going to end up irritated because it feels like they're going to keep doing the same thing because they don't know that you want them to do something different. And the way that I see that affects the other one, it just feels like there's tension that will grow between the two of you. The person on the receiving end of that energy, I can see where they just feel more and more insecure. And they feel more and more bad that their person is short with them or irritated with them and they don't know why and they don't know what's causing it and they don't know what to do. So they're not going to take action that the other one wants because they don't know what action to take. If they had direction and knew what action to take, Spirit wants you to know that they will do that. So someone can save themselves a lot of irritation just by speaking up and saying what it is that they want, saying what it is that they need. It looks like this person is just not a fighter. They do look like they'll kind of turn inward. And there's things that they'll feel that they won't say. Sad, they'll feel lonely, insecure. And just even thinking back to when things were better between us, when I felt that they were happy to be with me, now I feel like I can't do right by them. Okay, so it just feels like for those of you in a relationship, there is tension that's on the horizon because of unspoken expectations. And nothing will change this week unless someone just speaks up about what it is that they want. And the thing that someone really needs to know is if you ask for it, they will do it. They're not going to disappoint you. They're not going to let you down. The thing about your chemistry is you make a beautiful couple, an amazing couple, a perfect couple. There's no one else that's better for the king of pentacles than the queen of pentacles and vice versa. So I feel like what Spirit wants to say to you is don't let miscommunication drive a wedge between you and your person this week. Okay, Taurus. That's what I can see, you guys. I love you so much. Hey, Gemini. What's going on in your love life this week? Let's tap in and see. That five of swords really gives me pause as the overall energy. Because in a love reading, that's, that's very complicated. Because there's such a sense of my ego and needing to feel like I'm number one, needing to feel like I'm winning, I have the final word, that I'm above everyone, that I'm coming out on top. So it's definitely someone's ego directing them. It is. For some of you here, is there someone that you've been trying to get closer to and you feel like you're really putting in your A game and going above and beyond and, and holding yourself up to high expectations? Do you feel like you've been bringing your A game? It feels like it gets to a point this week where if that's not good enough for this person, 
something is triggered within you, Gemini, that makes you really want to stand up for yourself. That's what I can see here. It's like the buildup that leads to this point of you walking away from someone, but it doesn't feel like you go quietly. For some of you here, if you choose to make it an exit when it comes to this connection, it feels like you could even tell this person off or you tell them a thing or two, you tell them about themselves. It just feels like you've been trying so hard. And I wouldn't be surprised if you do feel like they're taking you for granted. I see it in the reaction here in the Four of Cups. It's like something that is right in front of this person that they're completely missing out on. Something amazing. You're right there and they're completely missing out on it. So they're squandering an amazing opportunity. I think it's because of immaturity that they're doing this. It feels like it gets to the point where that's the final straw for you. Everything that you end up saying to this person will be the absolute truth. And it just feels like you take your power back this week. You take all of your energy back. You become very empowered. And like there's this sense of belief that you have within yourself that everything you need is coming from within and you don't need anything from an outside source. So you're feeling very powerful. And it does come after you feel like you've been rejected for the last time by this person or ignored for the last time by this person. Or I see you rising up this week and you choosing to put this behind you. That's what some of you will do. That fool is zero and it's a fresh start in your love life. Even though you're not really sure about what's on the horizon, you feel like you're better off taking that chance going in another direction. So... The fact that this person doesn't realize a good thing when it's right in front of them, that's not a position that you're going to sit in anymore and let anyone treat you this way. I see you totally standing up for yourself this week. For those of you that are in a relationship, in a serious relationship, or it's one that you know you're not going to walk away from, this just feels like you're, you're kind of giving it back to your person this week. So there is some tension that builds. It feels like you could kind of go tit for tat, but it's in passive aggressive and subtle ways. Just because you're tired of being taken for granted and it feels like you're going to kind of give it back to this person in the way that you see fit. But moreover, you're going to start spending time alone. And I see you picking up something that you haven't done in a while that you've been putting off. Something that you've been wanting to get back into again or start up again. It's the perfect time for you to do that this week and I see you doing that. So you're still in the relationship, but you're just spending more time doing the things that you enjoy, focusing on yourself. Instead of letting someone make the decisions for you through their behavior, you take matters into your own hands where you decide that you don't need them to do anything for you anymore. After this week of feeling like they're not paying attention to you or noticing you or appreciating you the way that you desire, you flip the script on this person, Gemini, and, and you're the one that takes back power and control and limits your communication with them or chooses to altogether walk away from them. Okay, Gemini, that's what I can see going on this week, you guys. I love you so much. All right, Cancer, let's get into your love for you. What's going on in your love life this week? feels like you are setting your standards very high and not compromising at all on what those standards are. For some of you here, you definitely have a person that wants to rekindle things with you this week. There's so much potential to end up rekindling a connection or getting back together with someone. If this person is blocked, they become unblocked this week. You're in a different place of security than you were before, Cancer. 
when it comes to this connection that I'm picking up on, doesn't feel like you're the same person now as you were then. Even if that's a short period of time, it feels like you could have learned a lot in a short period of time and changed in a short period of time since being apart from this person. Really leveled up and have your head held high and your standards really high. I can see all of that energy here. The Queen of Swords is very empowered. The Hermit in reverse shows me your growth and your transition you changing as a person even for some of you physically the ways that you've changed as a person and the ways that you feel you've grown and improved and blossomed so this is someone who's trying to get back into your life this week I know at one point in time well obviously you broke up and then I know some of you block this person too or even just try to block them from your heart energetically so I see this person around you this week. That's the thing. They're going to make contact or you're going to run into them. And it's a heads up to you from spirit that this person's energy is right around the corner. Either you run into them or they'll reach out or whatever it is. You're back in communication again this week. And I see you being open because of how much you've grown and the person that you are now. So you feel secure enough to listen to what it is that this person has to say and to try and really see what their intentions are towards you and the reason why they're reaching out to you. You're going to keep your standards very high and you're not going to compromise or fall for any of their tricks. I see where you're in this place where you just know who you are and you know what you want. If you're wondering this person's intentions towards you, like why are they coming back in the picture? I know it's not all bad with them. I know it's been difficult at times, but I also know how insane this love has been at times. Insane as far as the chemistry and the attraction and just like seeing eye to eye and really getting each other and understanding each other. So I see how intense this connection is and how intense the passion can be between the two of you. They're here to stay this time. That's what you need to know. They're coming back around again. Uh, were they the runner before? What Spirit wants you to know is they're no longer running. Bouncing from one experience to the next. Bouncing from one connection to the next. That's not what this person is doing when they come back into the picture. So you're going to be in a position where you'll decide for yourself how far you really want to take it with them. So it feels like this week, it's all about talking to them again, filling them out, seeing what they're all about and keeping your decisions to yourself because, you know, they want to be back in a relationship with you. They'll make that clear to you. And also the ways that they've changed. Some of you will see how far this person has come and how they're really different. So there's such an opportunity to get back in the picture to get back together with someone. So spirit is telling someone to strike while the iron is hot. If you want to rekindle things with, again with this person on your mind, you have the opportunity this week. When you're around this person again, you'll start thinking about everything that's happened between the two of you. You won't just concentrate on the positive things. You're gonna be very honest with yourself and think about everything. And I can see that as soon as you feel like this person passes your tests, even if there's been other people in the picture that you've been getting to know, I feel like you're going to choose this person. Okay, Cancer, I love you guys. That's what Spirit is showing me. All right, Leo, what's going on in your love life this week? Let's see what Spirit shows us. Interesting. Taurus's energy, Cancer's energy has come through you guys. Are you thinking of a Taurus or a Cancer or a Scorpio? Their energy is here. Cross watchers or your own moon or rising sign, Leo? Well, this totally shows me if things don't progress or move forward, 
someone is tired of feeling like they're just on the outside. And I think that they'll take a big step back from their feelings this week, giving the connection a break, you know, not talking to this person, like taking space. Some of you are going to take the space. For others of you, it just has to do with you stay with this person, but there's distance between you and them. I see you processing, Leo, the Hierophant and the Two of Wands. That's thinking about your life very seriously. Thinking about which direction your life is supposed to go in. The steps that you're supposed to be making right now. Your goals, your standards, where you want to be. So you're definitely taking stock of things, looking around and examining a connection or examining your love life. And it feels like you have a very clear idea of what you want, Leo. You know what's important to you. You know what you're not going to compromise on anymore. Things that are important to you traditionally, spiritually, emotionally, just your values. So you really put things into perspective for yourself this week. So I see you doing a lot of thinking and comparing and looking around. Some of you have been waiting for a person to really let you in or maybe even to return. I say that because the five of pentacles shows me into the longing. It shows me into feeling like I'm on the outside, like I'm not truly a part of things or we're not as close as I wish we could be. There's still distance. There's still something that's coming between us. And obviously that's something that feels lonely. Leo, if someone keeps making you feel lonely the way that I can see, and if it's not moving forward and you feel like it's stuck this week the way that I can see, I just feel like you're going to take your space. And for each of you here, that space looks different. It almost feels like it almost feels like it's uh, you not wanting to be so in touch with your emotions when it comes to this person. Like, I need to just put that to the side for now. I need to take a break from that for now and just focus on other things. I can just see that what makes you distance yourself or walk away or take space is the fact that you feel you're on the outside looking in and you just keep thinking about what's missing. So there is a great deal of introspection and thinking back and just I see where you figured out what you want. Or if you haven't, Leo, you realize that you have this week. So around Leo's energy, something that I will say for whoever needs to hear the message, because this is what the energy is like, either they let me in and things move forward or I have to really think about whether or not I'm going to keep putting my heart into this. Think about whether or not I should keep putting my heart in jeopardy because it hurts. It hurts to feel like I'm on the outside. It hurts to feel like things aren't moving forward. It just feels like this week, it's time for someone to step up. It's time for someone to open up. Otherwise, I can see the reaction that comes along when that doesn't happen. And it is, I feel lonely and I don't want to feel this way anymore. I need time. I need space. I need to think about what I'm doing. So is there a connection that you keep trying to make work, Leo? And you're seeing for yourself this week all the things that are important to you and thinking a lot about your feelings. I know that what you really want is to just be loved and embraced and to feel like you have a close-knit, tight connection with this person or that you just had that in your love life. I feel like when I look at these three cards here, death, judgment, and the chariot in reverse, with all of it being major arcana, it's a message to you from Spirit Leo if you're confused and things aren't moving forward, you may have to be the one that makes the change in order to bring change in. Time for you to take matters into your own hands. Okay, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. That's what I can see going on this week. 
Hey, Virgo. What's going on in your love life this week? Let's tap in and see. This is very interesting to me because it's like something that you've waited a long time for. I see you receiving it this week. This is something that feels like you've invested so much of yourself. And I know there's been times where you felt like, you know, when do I receive? When does my time come? When am I going to get what I put into this? I know you've examined this connection and you've thought about your efforts, you've thought about how much you've invested. It's It has not been in vain, Virgo. That's what Spirit wants you to know. Because this week I see you receiving, and it's like this week is the end of blockages and difficulties and pressure. For some reason, I feel like I need to tell someone here, if you're single, don't miss an opportunity to connect with someone this week. That person's energy will come to you in, in different ways. For some of you, it's through an introduction, through a mutual friend. For others of you, it's someone that's in a place you frequent. For others of you, it's a person who assists you in your time of need. And that's an opportunity for a love connection. And I feel like I'm getting a very straightforward message to someone. Don't miss out on your chance to connect. Because I see where the theme in your love life this week is you you receive what you've been waiting for, but then it feels like it's right in front of someone's face and they don't see it. I had to give that message to not miss out on an opportunity, to maybe to open your eyes, open your ears, become present. So do you not, it's funny because for some of you, you don't see that there's someone around you that likes you because their attempts towards you, their actions towards you, their pursuits of you have been subtle. If you've been wondering about that gesture, were they interested in me? Were they flirting? That was their way of showing you their interest, although it feels like this person does it in a subtle and shy way. So it's a message to someone that the ball is in your court now. Don't miss an opportunity to connect and explore something amazing with this person. For others of you that are in a relationship and you've been Telling your person more about what you want and what you need. This week, I see them stepping up to the plate and doing the things that you've asked of them. Let yourself be present enough to see, Virgo, that this person is trying to fulfill your wishes and they're doing what you asked them to do. The support that you asked for is here this week. It arrives for you this week. So don't make things harder on yourself by being disconnected from the present because that's the thing about the reading is it feels like, well, someone is totally getting what they asked for and they're not seeing it and it's right in front of them. So Spirit wants you to see someone's efforts towards you, whether it's someone who's made a move towards you or it's your person putting in effort. I say that because... It could be the end of pressure, the end of a difficult cycle, the end of irritability, and the end of pessimism and just focusing on everything that's gone wrong. It feels like this week there's an opportunity for things to really turn around. So I feel like Spirit is telling you this week, Virgo, to count your blessings and to be present and not miss out on an opportunity that has presented itself to you that's right in front of you now. Okay, Virgo. I love you guys. That's what I can see going on this week. Hey, Libra. What's going on in your love life? What is going on this week? Let's tap in and see.
while you're really going to see a shift. That's the thing about it is it's like overnight, I have a totally different perception of things. Like overnight, it feels like my my feelings change suddenly and so drastically. Overnight, I have a completely different mindset about what I want. So it feels like there's a beautiful connection that is around you now. Gemini's energy, Pisces energy, Sagittarius's energy. So there's this opportunity for love that's there. And it feels like what happens this week is you connect with someone so deeply and passionately. Like it feels like this week you make a true love connection or maybe you've recently made a connection and this week you see that wow that this is amazing and this is a love connection i'm totally enamored with this person i'm into them that's what it's like so someone in a very short period of time that's why i say like overnight or in an instant in a moment i fall in love so for some of you it could be love at first sight for others of you it's like a moment where you connect with this person so deeply and you realize for yourself oh my god that's the moment i fell in love with them i see you guys falling in love it's a beautiful shift because you guys share the same outlook, values, desires, traditions, wants, needs. Like you guys are in sync. You are connected. Your energy comes through in such a high vibration. The lover shows me that the connection is blessed. So what I see happening is my mindset in the beginning of the week was, I'm going to fill it out. I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to do it the right way, quote unquote. That's what it's like at the beginning of the week. And then it feels like you have a, such a special moment with someone that your heart just opens up and it says, I don't want to take it slow. I don't want to hold back anymore. Everything about this just feels like it's right. And I don't want them to share themselves with anyone else. I don't want to be with anyone else. I want to be with them and only them, an exclusive relationship. And I want this long term. I want this permanently. I want something more. I feel like I found something more. I'm attracted to them in every way possible. And then I see where your heart starts to heal. So this is a very pivotal week for you, Libra. Because this is the week that everything changes. This is the week that you find someone or the week that you realize what you found. I just see where things change for you in such a beautiful way. And this week brings in closure, healing, confidence. It feels like you could end up making a commitment to someone in a very short period of time. I mean, the two of you realize things about each other within hours, days of meeting. You realize that this is the one. So you have true love getting ready to come in. For those of you in a relationship, I just feel like you connect with your person and rekindle things this week. Things that have been bothering you, things that you've been talking about, I feel like it's done the connection a world of good because I see pain is released from the two of you. And then there's just this sense of security, knowing that that we are stable, knowing that I can rely on them, depend on them. Even for some of you here, knowing that they're not going to be, they're not going to walk away or I'm going to, I'm not going to be abandoned. We're going to stay together. So I see where you really strengthen your bond and the two of you are telling each other how much you love each other. Finding common ground to take things to the next level because it feels like it's right. Seeing that the timing is right for things to progress and move forward. So if decisions have been up in the air when it comes to the connection or factors that affect the connection, the two of you come to a beautiful understanding and are on the same page, have the same point of view, want the same things, and I see where your bond is stronger than ever. So your connections are in an amazing place this week, Libra. All right, you guys, I love you so much.
Have a beautiful week, Libra. All right, Scorpio. How's your love life looking this week? Scorpio, your energy is here as well as Sagittarius and Pisces, very strong Pisces energy. Gemini also. S Scorpio, I have to tell you that it looks like you have someone that is upset. So that's what the vibe is like. Definitely this vibe of feeling used and it broke my heart. It feels like there's this energy of wondering, is it unrequited between us? The three of swords next to the king of cups, that shows me someone who feels like their heart is broken. And then they're really questioning how the other one feels about them. If the other one really does love them, ever love them, how lovable am I? I don't want to make this person sound like they're wrapped up in self-pity. It's just someone that is very, very, very hurt. So if there was circumstances where things were more casual with this person, friends with benefits kind of vibe, I know that it was much more to them. And it feels like this week they find out that that's what it is that it's not going to be something long-term. It makes me feel used. It does make me feel like this person played me. They deceived me. And that's very, very heartbreaking. So there could be someone, Scorpio, do you know how deeply this person feels for you? I see someone that is in love with you and wants so much more from you. So if you've been keeping things casual with this person, uh, somewhere along the lines, they thought that it was going to become so much more. They did fall in love with you. They are currently in love with you. And I can see when I tap into this person's energy, there's just such a sense of rejection, feeling like you didn't choose them. If they told you that they were okay with something casual, they totally lied about that. So if you've been openly telling them that, you know, you are seeing other people, that's something that really bothered this person and bothers them currently. I just see someone that's really mad at you. So if you resonate with what I'm saying, I feel like this week, this person could kind of lash out say some things to you very angrily, aggressively, but it's coming from a hurt place. For others of you, I feel like I can pick up on the energy of someone who is very hurt, currently does have a broken heart, currently has a lot of anger in them, someone who is very pessimistic about people and how trustworthy they are, someone who dare I say, never really felt like they were loved, currently even questions how lovable they are and has a lot of pessimism around if they'll actually find true love. So you know what this person does? It feels like they sleep around. It feels like they choose to run. It feels like they won't let themselves settle in a connection. Sexual, promiscuous, could even consider themselves to be a player, a bunch of people they're talking to, sleeping with, and it's all because they don't want to feel the pain and they're running from pain. So some of you have a person that runs from you because they're unavailable emotionally and they're so hurt. And that energy stems deep into their history. So this could even be an explanation to you, Scorpio, especially if you thought that things were more grounded with this person and you see that their energy switches up on you this week. You feel like they run from you this week or you're questioning you're just questioning and confused about things when it comes to this person because you feel like you've seen changes within them. Those changes stem from them being hurt and running from their feelings, running from their past, running from their emotions, running from the present because they don't want to be hurt. 
they're hurting. So it feels like they'll hurt people by being very inconsistent. They'll hurt someone through lack of commitment. So for some of you, this explains why this person switches up on you. But if you have someone that's argumentative with you this week, it is because they're in love with you. They feel like you haven't chosen them. And it's something that's making them feel very angry and hurt and unloved. It's someone who has much higher expectations or a bigger fantasy about the connection than you might realize, Scorpio. And this week, when they feel like things don't progress, I feel like you could see someone lash out, show you their temper. The Knight of Wands just says so much. Some of you date multiple people, kind of just do you and have casual connections in your love life. That could be your choice. For others of you, though, I feel like it's spirit letting you know the energy around someone and the fact that they're on the move. They're not looking to settle. They do look like they enjoy multiple connections. It's definitely someone that's very open sexually. So you might end up breaking someone's heart this week, Scorpio, after they realize that the connection isn't serious. If your intentions are just for something casual, if you make that known from the beginning, if they misunderstand that, that's really through no fault of your own. But that's what it feels like. I, I thought it was so much more. And this week I see that they don't feel the way that I feel. And that absolutely breaks my heart. So someone has it really bad for you, is in love with you, wants so much more from you. For some of you, do you realize your inconsistent patterns are painting you in a light that makes you look like a player or a user? I'm only saying that to shed light on it, not to make you feel like judgment is being passed. But if you know that your feelings are strong for this person, but you're just not able to give them the kind of consistency that you would normally, there's definitely a miscommunication somewhere between you and this person. And I feel like it could just end up in a place where they're keeping so much inside and their heart is broken and you could see how strongly they feel for you this week, Scorpio. If you're looking to build slowly with this person and you genuinely do care about them, they feel like your inconsistency is malicious. Okay, that's very important for you to know because I feel like it, it could come to a head this week and result in a confrontation between you and someone. So okay, you guys, I love you so much, Scorpio. Hey, Sagittarius, let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on in your love life this week. Wow. This is interesting, an interesting message. I feel like when cards come out like that, it could even be someone's personal message here. It feels like almost I'm being pulled in two different directions. Do I go all in? It feels like some of you are caving under pressure or you just feel like you know what you want to do, but then you have forces against you or people against you. I totally pick up on the energy of someone who wants to either like run off and marry this person or they just want to devote themselves fully and completely, but they're bound by responsibilities or circumstances that they have no control of. Or even someone that's very bound by controlling family members, parents. So it's like I'm in the middle and I want to go towards my love. I want to commit myself to this person, dedicate myself to this person that I love. But then I just feel like I have all of these things pulling me in another direction. 
And you know what I see you doing? I see you choosing to break free, even though it's difficult. And I see you choosing your love life. I see you choosing your connection. I see where even some of you are going to choose to make a really big move this week, even relocate. Wow, that's a lot. Whose personal message is that? I want to see what's going on in your love life, Sagittarius. I see you just getting to this place where you feel content. That's the thing about it. That's what's beautiful. Just know that everything is going to work out in your love life beautifully. So just keep focusing on what you want to happen because you're in this very powerful position, Sagittarius, of being able to manifest. You see that three of wands? That spirit telling you to set your sights on what you want because I can see where you have it coming to you. Whatever you want, you're going to receive. Manifesting and like, if you don't know what that is, that's okay. What you need to know is you have something beautiful on the horizon. You could either tap into the energy of optimism and manifestation, or you can just know in the back of your mind that it's coming to you. For some of you, you have a marriage on the horizon, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant. I can see that energy very clearly. So it's either like a proposal story that I could see for someone who's going to relocate, elope. That's definitely on the horizon here. And remember the three cards, one of them was the Queen of Cups, and now the King of Cups is coming through. So that's such a strong sign to you from spirit about a relationship, a couple, a partnership a divine partnership because there's no one that's better for the King of Cups than the Queen of Cups and vice versa. So I feel like spirit is telling you to focus on what it is that you want, to open up your heart, to take a chance, to go for it. And know that it's okay to choose yourself and what you want because everyone else is going to be okay in the end. You have to do what you feel is best for you and that will turn out to be what's best for everyone. What spirit really wants you to know, Sagittarius, is the way everything is going to work out for you and come into alignment. Even for you to rest assured and know that the things that you value, tradition, spiritual factors, religious factors, all of that is going to be upheld. I feel like spirit is telling you to set your sights on what you want, but then also remember to remain present when it actually comes to you. So this is a big reading because it's spirit letting you know that a divine partner is getting ready to walk into your life if they haven't already. For others of you, it's spirit letting you know that this connection that you have on your mind and the person that you're longing for, you're going to be back in contact again or things are going to move forward or they're going to accept your proposal or their family members are going to accept you. I just feel like the love that the two of you have is going to win. So it feels like you have so much clarity that comes in for you this week. And truly feeling like your love life is in a blessed place, feeling loved and like you have something that's really worth celebrating. And it makes me wonder, is anyone getting married this week or is it an important anniversary for you this week? Because it just feels like there's a very important moment where time stands still, where time stood still and it's like an anniversary. Some of you here will see how your love life really turns around this week. What Spirit wants you to know is for any of you struggling in a situation where you feel you and your person can't come together the way that you wish right now, Spirit wants you to know that this is the person you're meant to be with and everything is going to work out. Is that a message that you needed to hear? Okay, you guys, that's what I can see going on, Sagittarius. I love you so much. Hey, Capricorn. Let's tap in and see into your love life this week. What's going on?
Ace of Pentacles is a beautiful sign to you about new energy, an unobstructed path, a new beginning that brings in safety and security, consistency, stability. Gemini's energy is here, you guys. Are you thinking of a Gemini? Cross watchers, moon or rising sign. I feel like that is what spirit wants you to know overall for your love life this week, Capricorn, is that you have something amazing on the horizon and the way that everything truly is going to fall into place and get better. You deserve consistency. You deserve stability. And that is exactly what you're going to get. Some of you here just need to know when to let go. I know that you really love this person. And you believed in what the future held for the two of you. Feels like you were very, you are very intensely connected to this person. But I also know that you feel like there's been more losses than wins. And you keep waiting for a change to happen with this person. For some of you here, I feel like what Spirit wants to say to you is you've given them too many chances and you should consider just taking a break from that. Take a break to clear your mind. Take a break for some space. It could be really good for you. If you allow yourself to take a break, clarity will come to you and I see a new path opening up for you. For others of you, if you're married to this person, committed to this person in a serious relationship with them, spirit wants you to know that everything is going to fall into place. I can see this week where you keep focusing on what you feel is missing or you keep focusing on losses, things that you've lost, regrets. Just feeling like you're, maybe even like you've outgrown this person, like you just don't see eye to eye, you're just not feeling them. It's just something about the connection this week. But you know what Spirit wants to say to you if you resonate with what I'm saying? It's like either you choose to let them go because you've given them enough chances or you have to stop focusing on everything that you feel has been a loss or going wrong. So it feels like you're in this position, Capricorn, where you're kind of driving yourself crazy. So either you're going to focus on everything that you feel has gone wrong or lost as you feel you've taken in the connection, or you're going to let yourself embrace a new chapter, but you can't, you, you can't stay in the middle like that. And for those of you that shift your focus away from what you feel is taking from you, you shift your focus away from what you feel has not worked out, you have this new beginning. So let me make this very clear. Some of you know that it's time for you to walk away from this connection. And you're wondering, well, if I walk away, what's in store for me? What's in store for you is a fresh new chapter in your life, in your love life, where I see you receiving a commitment, marriage, consistency, stability, something very serious, solid, and stable will come to you if you choose to disconnect from this person the way that some of you know you already should because you've given them enough chances. For others of you here, if you're still choosing to stay committed to this person, you can't keep focusing on everything that you feel has gone wrong in the connection because if you you do that, you're missing an opportunity for new energy to come in between the two of you. So if you've already made your mind up and you've decided that this is where you're going to stay, you can't do that and keep thinking about the past all the time because it's affecting you negatively. It's bringing you into a low vibration, a pessimistic vibration. If you've already chosen to stay, let yourself believe that the best times are ahead of you. Let yourself focus on what's next, a new chapter coming in. If you've chosen to stay, then really let yourself have a fresh start here. So it feels like you're at a crossroads this week. Where I see the new energy trying to come to you, it's a matter of will you embrace it? Will you let it in? You know, Capricorn, your mind is already made up about what you want to do. So stop fighting what it is that you want to do. I feel like when you fight what you truly want to do, that's what 
is causing this inner conflict for you, where you're heading your heart. But it's like, okay, if you already know what you want to do, accept it. The theme in your reading shows me you being at a crossroads and needing to make a decision for yourself. What you need to know is you will not fail. You're not going to be put in a position where you don't have everything that you need. Abundance is on the horizon. Security is on the horizon for you. You need to make your move, Capricorn, knowing that you're not going to make the wrong move. You'll only make the right move and you already know what to do. Okay, Capricorn, that's what I can see going on, you guys. I love you so much. I hope you have a beautiful week and I'll see you in the next reading.